Hey everyone, mango 7 roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another Dragalia Lost video, and this is um, every time they release a patch, every time they release information, I say this is the best update ever, and I, I cannot even, like, explain how hyped I am for the changes coming in this game. Um, I did a live reaction to them on Twitch. You can see the VOD um, on my Twitch channel if you're interested. It's in the link below, but I'm going to talk over them now. First off, we have a ton of changes coming here. We've got, uh, I don't remember if I talked over this with you guys at all yet, but AI of adventurers and your party has been changed. Um, most important thing here, uh, screw changes. We don't care about changes. We care about this. Tenfold summon voucher. Another one coming with this event. Another one and another one and another one. Um, and also, if you miss this, they added an addendum. The High Midgar Stormer's Storm Chaser is dealing more hits than it should. So that is being fixed. That's been my biggest gripe with the game right now is that bug just causing me so many problems but that's not what we want to look at today i want to look at what's ahead for dragalia lost i can't even believe this this is matt sira director of dragalia lost first i'd like to thank everyone who is playing the game regularly as announced in a previous notice today i'll be giving you some information on various in-game events as well as some information on the game's direction and future updates we're calling these entries what's ahead for dragalia lost and most importantly, this says entries, and that's exciting for me. This is the type of things developers really need to keep um, in contact with us about. This is what keeps us going. This was what keeps us not thinking they're just out for our wallets, you know? Like, this, this fuels me. It makes me so happy. Um, also, one thing before we read this off, I just want to say I'm pretty sure somebody over there is, like, watching my content and um, changing everything I say because... This is just like a copy and paste of stuff I've been wishing for. Uh, so insane. So first off, we have a showcase, Winds of Hope. Uh, a facility event is the one we're coming. Um, super awesome. The most important part here, brother named Luis and Loen. Um, super awesome, brother and sister, I mean. Uh, most important part here is additionally, the extra quests this time around have been updated to allow for co-op play. So that means we're going to be able to do this co-op instead of just solo like the pumpkin raid. Uh, and this is actually super awesome. I'm so excited for this. And my reasoning for not thinking they would do a win facility was because you'd have to do it solo. So maybe that's what they thought about doing and um, change directions because of that. That's super, super, super exciting. Uh, also, the next raid event, Resplendent Refrain, is scheduled to start at the end of November, so they're already telling us about another event coming, which is something we've also been help, uh, asking about. Um, the part that I was worried about, and this is on stream what we were doing here, we were reading up, the summon showcase will introduce wind element adventurers, dragons, and worm prints. Some of these worm prints will be particularly of use in the upcoming facility event, and I was kind of sad about this. I read this and I was like, Ugh. You know, I'm tired of the way these worm prints are going. I want to be able to use my own worm prints. I was super mad. And then I scrolled down here and it says, from this event, we plan on removing the event reward worm prints. These are the special worm prints that grant a damage boost against raid bosses. Ultimately, they decrease the opportunities players had to make good use of the regular worm prints. Essentially, these limited customization options for raid events. And I love that. Oh my God, does that make me happy. I've been so hoping for this because it's not that worm prints suck to get us five stars, it's that there's no place to use them. So this will make all our worm prints we get actually usable, and it makes me very, very excited for this change. And it says our intention is for players to enjoy growing stronger during these events, and this is the end result of us considering what would simply be the most fun. Um, so cool. And then we have another spoiler for Resplendent Reframe. Um, as the details of this next raid event, perhaps you can tell from the title that songs will play a key role. Something I've also mentioned is that Dauko CD, which was supposed to be released tomorrow, got delayed up until next month. And I have to imagine this is the reason why. Uh, I have to have to have to imagine the reason Dauko got delayed was because they wanted to do something in-game with it as well. That's the only reason for it to be delayed after it having something like that. So I feel like we're going to see something related to Dauko soon. Um, and this kind of confirms it a little. Not confirms, but it kind of has the same theme. Um, we've prepared three brand new songs specifically for this event, and the new adventurer and songstress Lucretia will be making her debut. She's just ultra adorable, and if you don't know anything about um, Mango in general, 
I love bards in games. Bards are some of my favorite styles of characters, so I'm really, really, really excited to try to pull um, Lucretia here. I'm not sure if she's going to be free or if you have to pull her. Also, little dragon thing in the back is ultra adorable and it has the derpiest face I've ever seen. Uh, so unbelievably cool. And it also says uh, in update 1.15, we've improved the AI of your team members. They will now attack more regularly and will use skills more frequently. This should make clearing quests a bit easier for you. Uh, additionally, enemies in the Avenue of Power will no longer create barriers. I freaking hated those barriers. Um, some more things are happening. Adjustment to rubies, manas, and crystals. For that reason, um, we've been noticing players have become stuck on a lack of upgrade sources. We will be increasing the amount of everything for login bonuses. Super cool. We've also seen that players playing the game a lot do not have enough rubies to craft all the weapons they want. To address this, we plan on increasing the amount of rubies produced by rupee mines. That's awesome. Super stoked. I don't know how much they're going to increase it by, but it's going to have to be a lot to make it super worth it. Um, we also plan to increase the amount of rubies and crystals you get from the Avenue of Fortune and Power and also add master difficulty to these levels. I knew that was coming. Hype to everything right now. As for acquiring resources here, we want to make it easier to obtain the resources required for unbinding mana circles and crafting weapons. To do this, we plan to include orbs of each element, various dragon skills, as well as crafting resources in the shop's treasure trade. It will also be possible to convert these resources from low tier to high tier and back again. So cool. So cool. I've been asking for that forever. And uh, if new players work hard to clear quests, they'll be able to convert resources into high tier resources. Advanced players will be able to convert their high extra tier resources into low resources to make up for any they may be lacking. Super, super stoked. I can't even praise this patch enough. And it gets better. It gets better. And what's really funny is before this came out, like if you had asked me yesterday, and I'd settled a lot on stream and some on YouTube videos, if I felt like any weapons needed a change. I would say I feel like Bow needs a change, I feel like Bow maybe needs a little more damage, but most importantly, you need to fix the range on Bow. Bows are supposed to be sharpshooters, they're supposed to hit far away. That needs to be fixed, and it feels kind of bad to play that close to an enemy, because once you get to later bosses, you can't stay that close safely. That was my number one complaint with weapons. My second complaint was actually lances. I didn't like lances at all, because I felt like the force strike was too narrow. Uh, that made it so it was really hard to aim and a lot of times you would force strike and nothing would happen. I also felt like they were terrible to play in um, IOs and other things like that because your auto attack setup would just knock the enemies up and you wouldn't do any damage. And they literally changed my exact two things I was hoping for. So the idea behind the bow is sharpshooting from a distance. We're going to reduce the time between firing a force strike and when it actually lands. I like that change. I didn't think that was necessary, but a lot of people were complaining about that. We're also looking into reducing the spread for normal arrows and increasing their range. That's the huge hype. That's a huge boost to bows. And regarding to lance, the idea behind it is continuous mid-range attacks. We plan to adjust the lance so that normal attacks do not launch enemies. That was my biggest complaint with lance. Um, it will allow you to keep attacking. Hype on that. We'll also increase the area of the force strike so it will be more useful when you're in a pinch. Love it. Um, these adjustments will not result in any visual changes, but they are directly connected to the gameplay experience. We hope these adjustments using makes using bows and lances more fun for everyone, and that just makes me so happy that they're actually thinking about that. And that's like the line they say to us, because it's all about what makes things more fun. And if it means something gets a little stronger, but you get so much more fun about it, it just feels so nice. And it also says, please note that things may not turn out exactly as described here once the updates are all said and done. But whatever form the updates take, we are always striving to improve the experience. And this is a really good line too, because a lot of game companies are worried about telling us stuff. They're worried about saying what's going to happen because something might change. It's really important to not get mad at them if something changes. Like if something changes to bows or lances and it doesn't work out like they like and they have to revert back to it, don't get mad you know like that's not good if you get mad we don't get information like this from now on um and also i cannot believe this notice how it keeps going when comparing dragon trials master and the imperial onslaught with advanced dragon trials there is a distinct gap in difficulty we feel like there is not enough content to bridge that gap so we're planning new content to fill it we hope to make assembling teams fun by for example increasing the weapons you can craft can't say much more about this at the moment, except for RIP my wand, um, my Sinoa's wand.
We also plan on delivering chapter seven of the main story at the end of this year. For those of you who don't know, I always thought we we're going to be getting um, the next dragon, which is probably going to be Mercury when we get chapter seven. So it says here, fairies, the second heir appears in this new chapter and some light is shed upon a certain character's backstory. I am definitely looking forward to it. Aside from this, it looks like more and more people are clearing HMS, which means next up will be another high dragon trial. Planning to kick it off mid-December, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. I imagine it's going to tie in with Chapter 7 like I expected. So good. I feel like I'm a hidden dev on this game, and I'm really um, Matsura in disguise, and uh, what I'm saying is coming true. I can't even, can't even express my excitement for this right now. And also, I really like lines like this. What do you think about the first part of what's ahead for DL? That's all the info I can give you now, so I hope you're looking forward to these updates. It's a lot to go over, but hopefully you have a better sense for the development team's passion and for dedication to the game. Thank you for playing. I just, like... This is exactly what I want to see in a game. Like, Bay Channel kind of did stuff like this, but it wasn't really the same, you know? Like, it wasn't the same and it wasn't as often enough. But I really hope we do see stuff like this, like, once a month. Like, one post like this a month is just amazing. Um, assuming it actually needs to be done at the time. I can't even... I can't even anymore. Um, that's all I wanted to talk about today. These are insane changes. I feel like they watched my Hawk video and were like, We gotta fix these bows, guys! Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always, and I will see you next time um, in Dragalia Lost or wherever else you want to find me. Have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.